Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Endless Space 2, specifically for the Reawakening update that just launched today. It overhauls quite a lot of things, but since I haven't actually played this game a whole lot since its early access launch, all of the overhauls are meaningless for me beyond the idea of, oh man, it's time to finally sink some, sink some time into Endless Space 2. I absolutely adored the first game, love Endless Legend. And I like Endless Dungeon as well. Like, I don't know, I've I've always enjoyed these. Ooh. Let's go with um let's go with advanced. And let's pick our faction. Oh boy. I mean, we could be Horatio, the race of clones. Uh this is the Vodyani. I think I liked the Vodyani. Ah, oh, I forget. This is gonna take a little bit. Alright. I think I usually go for the aliens as they're just kind of cool. But I think I actually want to play as the Vaulters this time around. I like science factions and they can build portals so you can warp from one of your systems to the next. Which I think is actually kind of an attractive prospect. Let's just dive in. Also the Vaulters, I believe, are a faction that kind of crosses a multitude of, of their products. Uh, I guess a number of them did across the board, but the Vaulters were an endless legend as well. And there's some part of me that's like, yeah, that's cool. Is this the end of our voyage? We had such hopes at the beginning. Though we left in sorrow and desperation. But while they slept through the explosion, I have stayed awake for centuries, doing what I could to keep them alive. To save Zolia, first of the bloodline. But our power, my power, is fading. I can do nothing more for my people, the Vaulters. Music is just so freaking good. Leaving their home planet of Riga behind in a desperate gamble for survival, the Vaulters find themselves drifting through space after a cataclysmic dust explosion. They must settle a new system and strike out to find security for their people, then discover the fate of those they left behind. Led as always by the indomitable Zoya Lona, first of the bloodline, the Vaulters are still masters of military defense and scientific discovery, and with the luck, they'll finally be masters of their own destiny. So, uh, let's see, Major Civilization, got a bunch of stuff, cool, sounds good. Playing with new Endless Space content. Oh, right, these are all the uh, free updates and DLCs that they added. So, Hisho are in the game, uh, Penumbra, this is the Umbral Choir, who I have no idea about. Same thing with the Necklim, they look really cool. Uh, let's see, Dark Matter, so th I think this is just um, extra quests and stuff. The Vaulters are a stubborn resilient people that have spent centuries seeking a home. Stranded on the world of Auriga, they had to survive the harsh climate and even harsher neighbors. In a years long effort, they managed to repair their ancient colony ship, the Argosy, and once again depart before the dying planet became their grave. Once more among the stars, the people that now call themselves the Oregans still seek traces of their past, as well as a safe place to build their future. Okay, so major empires might be the true players, but there are minor ones that we can talk to, so we found the nearest. Uh, let's see, close this tutorial. Oh. Okay, so the nearest temperate green streak. Uh, so these people, ah, happier on fertile systems. Should be easy to work with. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of lore, and I'm not sure if I want to like get too deep into it. Can't do a, can't do anything with this at the moment, so we can just close it right now. 
Okay. So, Vultures start off at a special node, the Rejuvenation Field. They have a super colonizer ship, the Argozi, which is able to create a colony directly without first developing an outpost. Task is to find a system for your initial colony. The sooner the better. Oh. Okay, so we've got a couple. Um, each with different resources and reasons to go places. Now, do I have any other ships is the other question. No, currently it looks like we just have the Argozi, no scouts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to close the tutorial information. Whatever new stuff I'll just have to work with. So, we could go here. However, this is where the minor civilization is. Uh, I don't think we can talk to them yet because we don't have a home system. So we're in the rejuvenation field. It gets us 25 dust and our ships heal faster. And then also uh, if we're fighting more regen or more repair. So we could go to Octans. Uh, has two colonizable planets, but they're tiny, which usually means they can only hold yeah up to six people, up to seven people. So that's... That's not the greatest. We also have Talathia, which has four planets. Problem is two of which are lava, which is harder to work with. Boreal has bad stats. Can hold up to some amount of people. Good place to come back to. Other thing of note, you can see all these star lanes here. These, I think you can go outside of the star lanes, but it's not really worth it. So I think what we want to do to some degree is actually uh, go elsewhere. That's a neutron star. Yeah, so we could go there if we wanted to, but that's going to take some effort. But if you notice, there are no star lanes coming off coming off of this. Effectively, it's a dead end. So I might want to kind of push this direction, see if I can find something a little bit better at the forefront uh, to put my home world set up there and then come back to this at a later date. So Grafias has a large Mediterranean planet. So large can hold up to eight people um, and has pretty good bonuses. Um, it's not perfect, but might be a good idea. I think I'm going to go for it. We'll want to learn how to colonize lava ASAP, but I think I can work with that and this will be a good system to work with. Yeah, unknown atmospheric curiosity and subterranean curiosity. So that's stuff I'm going to have to worry about eventually. So we've got Vaulters and Sisters of Mercy as a minor faction. I believe the Sisters of Mercy were in um, Endless Legend as well as one of the minor factions. So they might have actually just come along. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what are we doing? So we can actually research both of these, but that's going to take a little bit of time. So for now, we should probably do the drone network for some extra food and then cerebral reality for some science and dust and then sure public private partnerships. Let's take a look. So the Argozi. Oh, we have scouts. Yes, we have scouts. So I'm going to send them off immediately. Heart and of harmony, the unfallen greet you. Okay, so the Unfallen are uh, mostly peaceful. I've usually allied with them in the past. I'm sure people who've played this game extensively know better than I, but... Okay. Planet Koyasil, home of Shargon AI. So we actually just found those people. Which actually puts me in a bit of a bad spot because effectively I can't expand any further. Uh, I'm glad I stopped where I did, though. So in an... An ancient world, its origin lost to the mist of time, Koyasil's entire landmass is now one vast primeval forest. How long ago the unfallen rose from the gloomy silent woodlands is uncertain, but most historians who have studied the species of the galaxy place them as one of the oldest. In the depths of the forest, a sense of timelessness reigns supreme. It's said that a fallen tree will lay undisturbed for millennia, very fabric becoming another layer of the forest. An un the unfallen strive for little, Content in their ageless world, but the stirrings of younger races across the galaxy have awoken something in the Koyasil. Something ancient, mysterious, and powerful. So we're going to try and be friendly with them just because uh, they... Well, they're currently gatekeeping me and I'd like to be buddies with them. They also give really convenient star lanes, uh, which I want to use. So the other thing we have is the Argozi. 
Just created a colony, must resupply. So it'll auto activate in four turns. Oh, right. Research queue is empty. I forgot. I've got a couple of things to work with. So let's go to the tech screen and take a look. Uh, oh, we also have hacking. Uh, let's actually go to that. Or no, it's not going to let me yet. So we can do a couple of things here. Xenolinguistics gets us... Um, gets us two things. Gets us Xeno industrial infrastructure and the ability to exploit titanium, which is useful. Metallurgy lets us get Hyperium. And then um, what else do we have down here? We actually start with a couple of those. That's diplomacy and, and character happiness. Food, which is tempting. We pretty much want food or industry at the moment. And I'm trying to decide. Yeah, do I want to go for Xenolinguistics first? Let's go for Xenolinguistics followed by Planetary Landscaping. They're going to take a couple of turns to finish, so I don't need to think about it too hard. So what else do we have? Luxury Resources, Discovered, Science, and Hacking. Okay, so how does hacking work? Hacking Console. Center Hacking Mode. This lets you draw paths of your next hacking op, then launch it. Draw paths, start hacking node, target the node. The hacking op will choose the shortest path, but you can select any number of nodes. Okay, but what does hacking do? Defensive program. I think we want this one. Oh, illegal operation, you can't hack yourself. Otherwise, we could do defensive program on the system. So I think I'm just gonna do that. Oh, you, wait, what? Okay, defensive programs can be placed on any colonized system you own. They will announce a security breach. I just don't know if I want to do any hacking right now. There's probably a reason for it, but eh. What's the economy scan get us? Oh, it's various resources? Oh, trade efficiency. Okay. Yeah, they've been... They did quite a lot of updates to this game. Uh, long after I, I stopped playing. Not like I actually played too much of it. Okay, so atmospheric of the planet is successful. Strong mag magnetic field anomaly. So, ouch. That's bad, but I think it can be better. Um, and I guess we got Hyperium Analyzer modules. Let's take a look at this again. Might as well snag that. That's not going to take too long. Okay, I'm assuming they're going to let me through. I hope so. I could probably take him in a fight if I need to, but because we spent some time not doing stuff, I'm gonna... Oh, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start hacking the minor factions. At some point, we'll actually have other people I can hack that I care to hack. Currently, I don't really want to harm relations with anybody. Speaking of, I should probably talk to the Bonnie. Or the nearest. Sorry, at Bonnie. Okay, let's move first, see what we get. Where's the center? So we want to kind of move away from the center. Because ideally what we want to do is actually take the Argozi maybe out. It'd suck if it gets blown up though. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys. Doesn't look like I can do much to them. But it looks like we will probably just slowly court them as fronds. Yeah, I guess we're just going to roll turns. There's not much for me to do. 
sort of. Okay, just completed Xenolinguistics. Moving on to those, so that's done. Economy and Trade 2. Technology Deed. Be the first to produce 100 dust in a single star system. Uh, creator of Wealth gets us whatever those flowers are. Okay. We, we left Riga millennia ago, but to us it feels like yesterday. Slumbering in our pods aboard the Argosy, time was only marked by cold, fleeting dreams drawn over centuries. Upon awakening, I can still remember a million details of the day of our departure. The biting winter wind, the smell of ash fires along the route to the vessel, the bone-shaking rumble of the engines as we speared into the icy depths of space, and Ariga receded to nothing, most of all the guilt. Black and heavy in the pit of my stomach for the kin we left behind. I might have been overwhelmed by these memories, had it not been for the crisis that greeted my awakening. Our carefully restored craft, the life-saving Argozi, had suffered a grievous wound. Some cataclysmic explosion had knocked us off course, playing havoc with our systems. Opbot, brave, loyal Opbot, did everything it could. I think Opbot was actually the like the plot relevant NPC in Endless Legend too, funnily enough. Uh, so Opbot did everything it could to avert catastrophe and get us back on course, but even its heroic efforts weren't enough. For eventually the power failed and we were left to drift. It's nothing less than a miracle that we awoke, circling that endless rune adrift in space. Our priority was setting, settling a world and surviving. Even if the planet isn't a home, it'll at least be a refuge. And so here we are, possibly safe, and yet immediately plunged into another crisis. For no sooner had we planted the Vulture flag into this alien soil than we lost our talisman, the ancient machine who saved us so many... Uh, saved so many of us by guiding us through the long night. Opbot has disappeared. We scoured the local caverns and crevices, the cliffs and the bogs, the treetops scanning the wilderness. But in truth, but the truth is even stranger. As we skim, I hear news of the base. Even the rushing wind and radio crackle unable to disguise the words. One of the interstellar shuttles is missing. The voice says, Opbot must have left the system. So... Four scientific star system improvements or wonders, or four defensive or ship improvement, uh, defensive or ship improvement, star system improvements or wonders. So titanium is a little bit more valuable to some degree. Red Stang, less so. The only problem is I don't actually do a whole lot of anything. Um, I don't get this stuff. I don't build a whole lot of military early. So let's go for Seekers and see how it goes. I don't actually know if that affects the plot in any way, shape, or form. Not that it matters. Ooh, Spica. Another dead end. Let's turn right back around when we get the chance. Artificial star system. Ooh. Yeah, what I want to do to some degree is send the Argozi past. I don't want to, say, lock these people in. Okay, Argozi is free, so it creates a new fleet. Send them over here. So the Argozi is a fairly competent colony ship. I could have sent it back this direction, but there's only one world to colonize. What I want to do is establish a foothold outside of... Um, the unfallen greet you in the hopes that you're... <laughs> Cut him off. Uh, I want to establish a foothold outside of... The Unfallen's, um, the Unfallen's territory. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of locked there for a while. Oh, hero management. Oh, shoot. Okay, so what are they good at? They're a senator, a vaulter, an overseer. I think we want to assign them to a system more than anything else. Confirm. Okay, uh, let's see, how do we check that? Where are my heroes? Quests and events, diplomatic status. Is it here? Okay, we also have some active laws that I could pass if I want to. So more money, less happy. More science, less happy. More happy, less industry. Some of these are kind of expensive. The Dirty Hands Act isn't terrible. Um, reduces system improvement cost on systems. It does have kind of an upkeep cost, which would be a little tough, but I think it's worth it, at least for now. Uh, let's see, population, change government. Uh, was it here? 
Because I think you can level these characters up. Yeah, there they are. So what is she good at? Yeah, it looks like she is probably a better, probably a better governor. Specifically, overseer, I think, is kind of useful. Yeah, because we already have, our, our home planet is hot, so that's useful. Yeah, worth it. On Senate, val uh, deposit value on resource deposits and deposit value on resource deposits per system. Yeah, those are going to be kind of useful. So we'll, we'll leave her as an administrator. We'll find other heroes at a later date that we can specifically... Is it this one? Ah, hero management. I don't remember how to get more. I think we buy them or they show up. It's been a while. Okay, Bonnie is hacked. Backdoors can be hidden in a range of networked infrastructures, but target widespread critical systems. Uh, let's see. Allows new hacking operations from this node and grants increased hacking speed on neighboring nodes. Improve image. Uncover secrets. Or hack the economy. I'm just going to improve relation, uh, improve image with them. Weird. I, you know, I don't. <laughs> I'm not quite comfortable with the idea of having like a, um, an army of hackers uh, to specifically just do PR for me because that feels kind of scummy in a weird way. But on the flip side, I ain't going to say no right now. Let's actually move these into industrial. Uh, mm, is this going to take three turns? That's going to take three. Yeah, let's work on the industry first because that's going to speed everything up. Oh, the music is so good. I should actually check if they have vinyls at some point. Okay, so we finished with planetary landscaping. Let's check the check the tech screen. So there's a couple of things we want. One of the big ones is actually going to be um, colonize arid, colonize desert. The big one is colonize like lava. So that's colonize Ar Arctic, colonize ice, colonize snow. Oh, nice steps. Oh, is it this one? Right. Okay, here we go. Oh, some of these act some of these over here. There it is. Okay, so we want to get up to this one if we can. I think it's within range. But do I want to? And how long would it take? A thousand science. That's pushing it. What is this? We're kind of there. We might want to look into... Some of these that actually make me money. Because, yeah, we can also get these kind of galaxy first i don't remember what the like flowery things get us first build endless park and and endless world in one of my systems that probably isn't gonna work for me this one seems doable ish so let's start working on those three Okay. Huh. Stellar analysis support module. Oh, these are for ships, though. Okay. Let's have everything move. Can I... Ah. Cannot colonize... I'm too poor. Well, we'll just have it hang out there for the time being. Uh, can I just have them snooze? I'll just have them snooze until I have enough money. I was wondering about that. Uh, hacking operation. I don't know. Do we want to just keep hacking Bonnie? There we go. That's 
extra stuff to manage, but it's fine. And I don't think we have too much to mess with. Oh. Military upkeep. That's not great. Let's see. Which food are we getting? Do we want to go for... Yeah, we'll go for public-private partnerships. I don't want to take too long on this one. Wow, we really are just stuck in a strange arm of this galaxy. We're, like, kind of locked off long way up here. And then there's like this whole arm over here. I don't think I've ever seen the generation system do it like this. All right, so we're now cordial. Provide you with a small portion of their resources and let you repair and retrofit your ships there. Okay. Unlock 18 technologies in the military quadrant. So the first gets resources and reveals some techs. I don't know how deeply I care about that one. It's worth it, but I'm going to need some new planets ASAP. Wow, it's still dead-end territory. So we might actually want to take the Argozi out here. The one singular planet here is nice, but it is just... Like a small atoll and a gas giant. Yeah, neither of those are really overwhelmingly worth my time. Also, it's a pirate colony. That's maybe a problem. Okay. Move. Let's take a look at this. Pirates, defense. How good is the Argosy in combat? It's not. It really, truly is not. So we should get out of there. Luckily, the pirates aren't really a problem for me. Um, Talathia, I'm going to have to go after and actually care about. But these pirates are going to have to go through them first. So uh, less of a problem. Found a black hole. Ooh. Who are the octans? What? Who colonized this? Oh, the Academy. The Academy. It's a neutral faction. So, um, that's actually kind of a big boon. Okay, we've discovered the Zimsala. Start negotiations. I could declare war on them, but why would I do that? Kind of the goal to some degree is to make such good friends with them that they, um, just join my civilization. Okay, what else do we have? We're, I mean, we're pretty much just, oh, hacking. Can I? No. I think I'm just gonna keep hacking these guys for the time being. We can get it to the point where they join us. And a free planet via uh, good relations seems like a really good idea. Okay, so we have Dark Glitter as a resource, and loot. Sick. Oh, and she's got a, uh, she's got a perk. Okay, so what do we do? So, some amount of titanium? I think so. That always seems like the play. Just get a little bit of strategic resources over time. It's not much, but it helps. Boy, we are the king, king of a, like we are kings of a dead end arm of the galaxy. So we might want to go to Yetic. Small Tundra, it's not great. But if I'm looking for footholds, this is not a terrible spot.
Okay. So we've got that. We are now amicable with these. Neutral hackers active. So pirates will now hack us, which is going to be probably annoying. Okay, and let's put the intergalactic super... Oh my gosh, why is that so expensive? Okay, so we have no specialization. Forget if we can. Oh, we don't know how. turns. Okay, let's put sustainable farms on the top. We might want to... Well, I guess plasma metallurgy is the next step anyway. I was really hoping that going for the extra money was not going to be too tough. Are we actually truly just in a dead end here? What? Huh. I actually didn't know this was possible. But you 100% can just be locked away in an arm. I mean, you can still make the gap between... I forgot about the probes. I should have been firing them this entire time. Do they have probes? No, they don't have probes. Hmm. Okay, so now what do we do? I guess with that, we're just going to head back to the Argozi. I'll see if I can turn them into one fleet. That might save me some money. Okay, the other thing I want to take a look at... Oh, we've got a couple. How do I do a system, star system management, star system upgrades? No, it's probably here. Policy hangar. Colony. There is a way that you can spend... Certain resources. The unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal is greater harmony. Uh, I can't even declare peace. Okay, what is this? Political survey, people like the scientists and the pacifists. Which I'm kind of fine with. I don't necessarily need to be warmongery yet. Oh, looks like they've set up on Marope. The reason why I wanted to kind of hem them in here is this way they don't expand into my handful of systems that I can potentially take. Okay. Is it the economy screen? Oh, no available. Okay, so we need economy and trade technology stage three to be able to boost. That makes sense. Unfortunately, a lot of the early management here is very, uh, slow. Okay, can I... How do we select all merge? There. I don't actually know if that cuts down on my costs. Oh. Rumor of an academy. Well, I think I know where it is. Exploring five atmospheric curiosities. I forget. Can you actually... Explore one of these? Okay. I can take a... I can take my fleet and actually check these planets out. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Academy is literally just right there. Oh. Well, that super works out for me. We have a free colony due to the Argozi's abilities. Well. And then we can put a scanner on Yetix. It's not a very good planet. Like, it's actually kind of a bad one, but... I want more lands. So we also have Long Season and Needs of Many. Cool. 
start with the usual. Okay. Nope, not that one. What I want to check is no anomalies there. But here. Two. I might as well angle for those. Let's see, anything else? Back to here, Graphius. Put these on top. Yeah, the extra industry is probably going to help a lot. Putting population in these slots creates overpopulation penalties. Huh. Yeah, it's slightly annoying. Okay, hacking operation. Go from here. Nope. How do I access hacking? Oh, it's it's the economy view. Anyway, we're just gonna keep hacking them for the time being. At some point I'll go after the pirates. I'm kinda hoping the pirates don't go for my home world. Anyway, they are friendly. Provide you most of their resources. Graphius has been hacked. I mean, I kind of figured it was probably the pirates. Okay, uh, let's see, where was I left off? Uh, right. Ten new curiosities or four systems outside of your constellation. I could go for the four systems. Let's go for that. Yeah, I think that's good. There's kind of perks that you can get. So that means, to some degree, uh, let's see, my other ship, here. Oh, no, Ooh. that's way farther out than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm gonna take this scout we're going to go over here. I'm going to hope whoever's on this planet is not violent. But we're going to want to do a hop, skip, and a jump over. Okay, so we don't have resources to really invest in anything specific, but I like the scientists. Most people do. We do also have some industrialists who might not be a terrible idea. Okay. Oh. Oh. So we found the Riftborn. Oh, sick. Uh, let's see. So, oh, load, some influence. We also got micro factories. So in retrospect, we don't want this guy to go anywhere. We want to scan Glacius. Oh, you can see if they have something to scan. It's the little bloop. But we can also pop over here and uh, hop to their system. That'll take considerably less time. Okay, close that. New luxury resource and hero level up. Sign skills. Probably just keep going for the free resources because uh, those are helpful. We don't have them on a ship, so it's not as important. Okay, is this you? Uh, skip the turn. I think skip the turn. Okay, so if we go to the text screen, take a look at this. I'm going to grab those two. It's going to take a little while, but it's probably going to be worth it. Okay, and we're just going to keep improving our image with them. Eventually, they're just going to like us. Actually, that should be the last of it. Who are they? Oh, pirates. That's fun. Oh, filter barges. That's kind of fun. And so we can now also take both of these two planets, which are great for industry. Not a lot of space on them, but it's worth it. Uh, 
Let's see. And yeah, I'll want the filter barges, but not soon. My big fear is we don't have any military ships. And I think I need one. Because, um... It's just a Prowler, but I have nothing. I mean, if we're lucky, they'll just ignore me. Okay, so let's, let's go up here. Let's actually find a ship. Um... Is it this one? Arrow class. Small attacker. I think I gotta put it first. What else do we have? Improved behemoths. Oh, right. Nope, I have no idea how we get a be get a behemoth. That's probably okay. Okay, so you done? No. Scan that one. Probably not going to give me much of anything. Acid rain, science production. And we get a bunch of dust and some other things. No one's sure of the origin of the being that founded the Academy. Whether, the, whether they're human, endless, alien, or some other unknown form. All stories agree, however, that any being touched by dust who finds that secretive place and survives its rigors emerges deeply changed and greatly enhanced. A visit, a word with the leader, an understanding of why the Academy exists and what purpose it serves. There are many mysteries surrounding the Academy, and claiming it is either a place of research into and claiming it is either a place of research into dust or a profitable services business seems somehow a bit glib. The Academy appears to be located in one of three systems. Visit them with a fleet, maybe the first to discover it. You get some money, which is good. I don't know if I'm gonna get that one. However, wait, really? Your ships need warp-free movement. Oh. Well, military upkeep doesn't seem to be an issue. Can the Argozi not go? The Argozi can't go there? Oh, that's unfortunate for me. Whatever. I'll just head back down to Artemis. Actually, I was wrong. We should head down to Artemis ourselves. That will put us very much in the... ...line of fire... ...for pirates, though. That's gonna take 14 turns. I wonder if I can actually boost my reputation with them. Maybe. Well, we were under siege, but it looks like the pirates have just left. Or, we are starting to maybe become under siege. It's something I'm going to have to worry about. I'm, I don't have any military craft, and I don't have the ability to build any military craft. Uh, but it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, fish and shielding. The main problem is just the intergalactic supermarkets are... Um, Long way away and very expensive. I could build a... I could buy a second colony. Let's do that, actually. Good, I bought the... Did I buy the correct one? No, I did not. I don't think it'll matter. Okay. Population gained here or uh, spreads it out a little bit now eventually I'll be able to specifically get rid of the negative anomaly which actually isn't a bad idea but later okay does the Argozi just move that much faster dang all right yeah we'll just make the hop at some point 
Okay, so we can now make some ships. So what is that? Protector. Well, the pirates haven't decided to come for me yet. They're just flying around. Pretty soon I'm going to need to worry about them and possibly punch them a little bit. Dang, four star systems outside the same constellation? Oh, in the same constellation. I, I guess I have two. Okay, off-world Agribus. Oh, Agribusiness. There we go. And yeah, we might as well snag that, because I can potentially recruit these people. And they have Hyperium. That is just a bonus. Okay, is the Argozi? They're not there yet. We might actually not get Artemis first. They might snag it before I do. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. So how long? Seven turns for free colonization. Oh, they've just got vine ships. So we don't need to care about that as much. Oh, and we can select a specialization. Money. I mean, it is sterile. I don't think it's worth spending the money on, though. I think we'll wait. I think I'll beat them to the punch for taking Artemis. But if I don't, not worth being upset over. Okay. Anything else? No. I think we're just kind of chilling. I'm hoping to get that, that one money wonder, but if I can't, so be it. First Undaunted Kith has... where? Here? Oh, you know, I should probably fix that. Hey, peace. The hopes that your goal is greater harmony. Well, I have the dark glitter. Seriously? Okay. Maybe I start hacking them and see if I can boost my reputation with them. They might not likely like me because I'm going to hem them in. I'd like to be friends with them. But you never know. It might come to blows. We are very close neighbors. Okay, what are we going to do? Actually, easy one. We're going to scan some anomalies. Okay, blue cap mold. And dust. I would like this system. It's got some goodies for me. Let's actually take the scout. And bring it that direction. And the Argozi is just going to wait. Okay. Let's just cancel the hacking up. Oh. Uh, I guess the Argozi can, in fact, fight. Fight! Let's see how combat works. I think it's pretty much an auto battler. Okay, so increase the battle speed. I don't think I can do anything. Let's skip to the action though. Let's do an overview camera. There we go.
Does the Argozi have guns? No. Neither of them have guns. <laughs> it is a draw. Can I actually adjust the Argozi? No. I can put modules on it, but this thing's never going to fight. Four more turns, and then I can make some ships. Unless I want to buy one. It only takes two turns to make them, though. <sighs> I think if I want to buy anything, I want to buy that next colony more than anything else. Let's see if I can hack him. Economy scan. No, that's defensive. Six turns. If it's bad, then we stop. I don't really care. Oh, cannot afford cancellation cost. Oops. Okay, now let's... If I just do quick battle, we can see it's a draw. Yeah, they're just hanging out there, which is good. A little worrying. Okay, I cannot afford... Oh, I don't actually have the money. It's rounding up. Okay. Three turns. So might as well go back in here and move the carve to the second place position. Let's get that second colony too. I guess maybe I could have saved the money. Or just in case I needed to buy anything. I don't want that. I just want to scan that. I got some titanium. Alright. And let's actually head home. Not that the scout can do any combat. Really, not that I can do anything. Oh, did I... Did I have to pay an influence cost? The unfallen port shield. Unsure if your actions will enforce or ruin the harmony we seek. Okay. Sure. I wasn't sure if I could run, like, a covert, uh... Ah, cannot in a hostile influence zone. The unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal is greater harmony. Maybe I should have said no. Because the pressure trend is currently negative. I think it's because we're too close. Oh. Maybe I just wasn't bribing them well enough. How do they feel about- oh my gosh, these people are picky. We might actually have to just fight them. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so we- we can't do any hacking, but that's fine.
Okay, off-world agribusiness. Yeah, unfortunately, we're being hacked a bunch, so I should probably look into fixing that. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Food? Or... Let's go with that. The industry bonuses are nice. Okay, let's let's take a look at what's in their queue. Oh. I I see what the blackout is. Okay. Offensive hacking program. Yeah, so we have some level of hacking programs that we can go for. Not much I can do about it, though. Looks like I can't do anything with it. I probably just got hacked by the pirates. What I would like to do at some point is punch him and not have to worry about him, but is what it is. So how much money are we making from this system? I have no way of knowing at the moment. I guess we can kind of check. System dust. Relations with minor civilizations. So this actually worked out really well for me. But we don't have off-world agribusiness. I guess I'll just chill for a moment. Three turns on that blackout, too. Wow. Oh, got some Harishims. Cool. Okay, scientists are in the political lead. Oh, uh, I think we also have the ability to colonize lava, which is actually nice. Coral reefs. Also hopeless battle, but that's a battle tactic. Search the curiosity on planet Graf Graphius 2, or 1, if you're ready to sacrifice Hyperium. So you can rescue or we can protect. The expedition made landfall days ago, but nothing has been heard since they entered a region of mild seismic activity on the second day. The electromagnetic analysis... Ah. Uh, electromagnetic analysis of the region suggests that their communication equipment should still be functional, so the lack of contact is unlikely to have a technical cause. What should you do? Stay loyal to the missing team or is, and send another party down to investigate or keep everyone on board, not expose them to unknown risks? Rescue! You owe the expedition team your loyalty. After all, who will serve you in the future if they think you'll abandon them? The first sign of danger. Your scientific counsel, however, has advised you that the action is not without risk. There's a 20% chance of losing the fleet. Well, that's fine. Might as well scan the other anomaly while we're here. Oh no, that was it. Rescue party touches down on the planet, close to the site of the last known contact. Oh, success. On the fifth day, the re rescue party picked up a weak signal coming from a system of caves within, a re within the region that the original team disappeared. Upon investigation, they discovered the team surviving inside a Vodiani craft near the mouth of the caves. Though the, it's really hard to read this. Although the crew gave conflicting accounts of what happened and possessed equipment that was prematurely aged, they were found to be in fine physical and mental health. After some simple repairs of the Vodiani craft, both the rescue party and the missing crew were able to leave the surface and return to the fleet. Insights gleaned from the whole affair have triggered a scientific renaissance across the Empire. Hey, So we also have just a Vodiani ship. Let's take a look at it. Gouch. Well, we now have... Okay, sign a hero. Destroy them. Ah. Uh, uh, systems under blackout, so they can't stay in the hangar. Um, I'm just going to do nothing.
Okay, so what's what's the tech we want to go for? Um, you know, where do we get our science? Down. Oh, well, that's convenient. Let's see. I don't think we have any lunar anomalies. So let's snag that one. Oh. We need better engines, don't we? So we should probably grab... A couple of these. I need to be able to warp to a new system. Oh, is it just like a level three tech? Maybe. Let's see, scour rays, meh. Let's go for those probably. Because the pirates haven't decided to start coming for me yet, but we're going to need to be able to punch them. It's still under the blackout for one more turn. Luckily, I queue up a lot of things simultaneously. So the blackout wasn't terrible. You in the name of the four families. And we want to quote unquote fight, but we can't do anything about it. So we're just going to do quit. It's a turtle. However, Grafius can now do things. Uh, I don't think this fleet's ready for ready for that though we actually will need a couple more let's just grab those these are colonized that's under construction do we want the filter barges we do we want the labor Do we want this? I mean, it's really good. I'll give it a shot. Is there a way to move this up? Is this worth it? Not right now. Let's go for the labor. Considering all of these are hot, so this is going to be a big bonus. Let's see, we have an overpopulation minus. Let's move this over here. But yeah, let's go for the labor bonus. Uh, yeah, this is the trick. Yeah, is there a possibility? Oh, you know what? No, there's one other thing I should maybe do first. Or put on the queue. Should get that other colony. How long is it gonna take? Four turns, maybe not. Save up for it? 2.8 thousand, ouch. I mean, maybe the population grows and it'll go a little faster. Hey, creator of wealth achieved. Oh, Chargon got it. Dang it, I was actually really close on that one. Well, that puts Xenotourism down on the list a little bit. I was hoping I'd get it. What is this thing? Wait, what? What are you? Why is there... 
A floating cube? What? Is that me? Oh no, it's a, it's a probe going by. Got it. I understand now. Okay, and we don't care too much about any of these. The unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal should not have looked at that at the moment. Okay. I think I can do that one. Actually, this is really easy. So Galactic Census is coming up. Although you have greater worries on your mind, you remember that one of your wisest advisors once said that a great leader is often judged not by his actions, but the statistics he leaves behind. Perhaps it's worth investing a bit of effort to making your mark on history. So we can do a parade, but that's eh. This one might be doable, but we're going to have this one just automatically in like a turn. Oh, and we did actually get this. As the reports of new systems and their contents come in, other reports arrive as well. It seems the heroes are departing the academy on individual missions, not on I is Yander's request. The independence is unusual, though it's not a full rebellion, at least not yet. We get a salvage ram scoop, which is useful. So search three of the identified curiosities or colonies are created an outpost on one unique planet in less than 30 turns. Oh, so we could get Carves Yeet, who is a seeker scientist scavenger, or it's the same one. What is a unique planet? I think I'm going to do the search the identified curiosities. We are going to have to do something about those pirates. They're going to cause problems. Let's see. Do we do anything else? Not at the moment. Yeah, right now they're not that strong, but eventually they're going to get to the point where they could actually threaten the Argosian. and I don't want to deal with that. I just, I really want to get some of these home, home system things done. I'm not going to hack anything. Last time I did that, it went badly for me. Let's take a look at this. Ah, pressure trend from score difference and diplomatic choices. The unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal is greater harmony. I'm just going to do... Map sharing. Heart beats with caution when dealing with you. I don't know if that helps. Hopefully it does. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to work on culture bonuses pretty soon. And hello, they've left it alone. Oh, it's a hostile influence zone. As in, their web is preventing me from doing anything. Again. All right, do we just give them some mushrooms? The heart beats with caution. I'm not gonna be able to use that many anyway. And if I'm lucky, I can slowly push us up with gifts. It actually looks like giving him the gifts early might be the call. Okay. Why? I'm just going to see if I can bribe him into a positive state. Okay, other things I can do. Okay, six or more buildings in your empire within 15 turns. Oh boy. A devastating disease outbreak is currently running rampant through the nearest home system. Thousands have already succumbed to the infection and tens of thousands or more are sick. Everyday life is close to the breaking point. Critical industries are scraping by with skeleton crews. Medical facilities are overrun 
with the unwell, and food shortages loom. Civil unrest is likely soon to spill over into outright rebellion. As nearest leaders attempt to manage the outbreak, one vital question remains unanswered. Where did the disease originate? Tracing the outbreak back to its inception and identifying patient zero could well be the discovery that breaks the plague's stranglehold. Will the nearest scientists establish the identity of patient zero, they've asked you to provide immediate relief for fleeing refugees. Six or more buildings in your empire. That's actually kind of tough. Okay. That's four. Okay, I could just buy that one, but we don't want to do that yet. We can do that in a bit. Let's take a look at Yetix. Which of these are easiest? That'll have to do. Unfortunately, not much Yetix can do. Yeah, the problem is it's the six. If it was like half that number would be easy. Then again, I think the labor bonus here is going to be massive. Okay. Koyasil, we get some of that. I think that's part of the quest. Should figure out all my other quests. Words in private. Okay, here we go. Well. Yeah, warp free movement. No idea how to snag that. Okay. If I can get this labor bonus. Oh, well, we got vital statistics. So that's a bonus. We found Horatio. And my hero's leveled up again. Do we just get her this? Yes. And that gets us our next tier, so we can get more happiness, which is always good. We can get more science. We can get... Nah. We want this one, though. Industry per hot. This... Like, our whole home system is very toasty. Oh. They're able to warp. What about you? Can you go? Yeah, warp free movement. I don't know. I'm sure it's a tech. Let's just... Oh, Shargon has found the academy right where I thought it was going to be. Okay. Keep moving. It's almost done. Can't buy it, but I don't want it anyway. But I can buy other things. So we can actually grab both of those, and that should speed things along tremendously, especially with the big labor bonus. Oh yeah, look at that go. Okay, new population collection bonus. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. So the more people you have, the more bonuses you have. Let's see. It's extra... I see. So it just gives a bonus to scientists at the moment. So if we get up to this one, bonus to religious, health regen... Wait, health regen ratio on systems... Oh. 
with Sisters of Mercy in the Empire. Power Shams, bonus on Sterile, bonus on Pacifist, bonus on Food, Healthy Staples, Law Unlocked, and then the nearest Ecologists, Food, and Nearest Law. Cool. Okay, what else we have? Okay, all participants will receive credit with the Academy that can be used to barter favors. Ooh. Let's take a look. So... Be the first to contribute to the Academy. I see. So we contribute these. And we get rolls? I don't know. The whole Academy thing was very new. Compared to the last... Uh, like, I don't actually know if it was in the game when I was really putting time into this. And clearly I wasn't putting a whole lot of time into this game. I'll have to at some point. I think I might want to wait until I can play with Shell or something. So we can, like, duo comp stomp and watch each other's backs. Are we good? We're good? Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at that other one. Oh. Okay. It was patient zero. I'm at four out of six. Let's pin it within 10 more turns. So I think we're fine. I think we were fine. Oh, move one back over. These have better industry. So like maybe to some lesser degree it is actually worth, is it? We gain 14. Yeah, 14 for 25. So we lose a little bit of food, which is, I think, the one downer. But the extra industry is very worth it. Let's go up to Yetix. How expensive is... Yeah, that's pricey. So I think we'll finish this. Actually, the magnetic field generator is better than the luxury bonus. Okay. So I need... I need this. Let's see. Spin project. And yeah, we need... We need diplomacy. Let's go for both of those. All right, anything else? Or are we pretty much good? He really wants to colonize that system. I'm just kind of locked in. Oh, am I? He cleared out the pirates for me. I'll let him take Artemis, we'll take Spica. I don't think I was going to be able to take Spica anyway. It's not a very good planet. It's a pretty planet. But yeah, it has very limited... Um, it has very limited space. I wish I could actually sort these. Oh, we can expand it a little bit. But yeah, I wish I could s sort based on... Uh, how extensive it is. You know what? I don't think we need electromagnetic shielding on this one. Okay. And you know what? While we're here, buy that. We might be able to build the wonder. It's probably going to get snagged by something or somebody else. But you never know. Okay. Call a spaceman a spaceman. Some On some of your systems, an antiquated classification scheme used to categorize minor civ civilization citizens has the religious community up in arms. The classification system is mostly meaningless at this point. To officially accede to the protesters' demands would be a bureaucratic nightmare. My people can be grumpy at me for a bit. 
and we got it. Okay, this system is a variety of peculiar architect architectural landmarks surrounded by examples of far more modern construction is evidence of a barely FTL civilization that was assimilated by a more technologically advanced empire. Oh, it's me. I've discovered me. That's what's going on here. Okay, and at some point I'll move over here. We just don't have enough space. Let's see. Well, I guess big data isn't actually that helpful, and we definitely don't want chain gangs. We do want to colonize, though, because I can take two planets in that system. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Shuttles. Oh, they had their own fleet. I'll move them over. I think I might see if I can um, punch the pirates. Dang, Shotgun's got a fleet? Oh. Minor faction abruptly just moved onto one of my planets. Sure. Okay, I've done a many thing here. None of this was really what I was planning on, but hey. Also, it looks like I can colonize Pleon up there. Which might actually be a good idea. Let's do an economy scan. Hack from here to Soladan. Start working on that. Might as well make more friends. I'm just going to assimilate a bunch of minor factions as my, like, go-to, I suppose. Okay, send those out. Oh. Why am I in financial ruin? Let me fix that. Didn't fix it. Uh, mil oh, it's the military upkeep. I hate doing it. Yeah, we just haven't been going for money at the moment. But that'll keep us going for one more turn. Just enough that I can hopefully do a boost, get, get money. Okay. The unfallen greet you in the hopes that your goal is. I might just have to fight them. What is our score difference, by the way? Is there a way of checking that? Uh, let's see. Galaxy View, is it diplomatic? Oh, you can interact with the Pirate Collective. It seems like most people don't like me. Eh, they don't hate me. But yeah, most people don't like me. Is there a way to check? I forget. Is it this one? No, that's my quests. I swear a lot of these things were actually just considerably easier in Endless Legend, but I think that might just be because... Let's see. Vaulters, approval. Oh, we do actually have a col uh, colony limitation. Oh, victory. Here it is. Our score is... Great on wonder. What? Really? And great on supremacy for... How? Is it just the sheer amount of manpower that I have? 
It must be. And I guess we're doing great on science, which is fair. Unless I actually snagged more wonders than I thought I did. I sincerely doubt it. Because somebody else snagged this one. And this one? Oh, yeah, of course. I don't know what the benefit on that one is. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, 50% of the galaxy. But that only... It's this one I want, because the actual wonder is great. Uh, let's see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We got six turns left. So let's finish that wonder and then probably end this video, because I think it's been going on too long anyway. Argozi is ready. Do we? Sure. No path leading to the node. Ships need warp-free movement. Is it this one? Free, free movement for all ships. Now I know. Yeah, so I might just um, churn out a couple of rounds real quick, see if I can get this endless, or this wonder before somebody snaps it up for me. I'm not betting on it, but you never know. Time to absolutely just destroy my influence here. Yeah, it could be a problem. Found a homeworld. Curiosities in several constellations need to be examined. Ooh, endless super weapon. <laughs> Never mind, that's very far away. We'll get to it. I might actually snag this. Ooh. Hunt and injure three heroes commanding ships. Oh, but that's within, uh, like, a couple of turns. I don't think that's happening. Okay, scientific achievements and wonders. Destroy a pirate system. Get torpedoes or cordial with the Cordial with the pirates. Okay, Solo Quest started, Chapter 1, Whole New World. Uh, Opbot's location and his reasons for disappearing remain a mystery. As much as I'd like to dwell on that, I have other requests I must, re uh, must respond to. The greatest is the demand of my kin to answer the myriad unanswered questions about our own past. Well, the w where was the world of Mazan from where the legends say we once came? What remains of its people? Where is Ariga, once our home, now lost in the galactic cloud, since the dust explosion shifted the Argosi and confused our navigation systems? My kin have done well, so I will do this for them rather than urging them forward. In truth, I'm concerned that until their queries about our past are answered, they will not be ready to look forward. My thoughts have turned to the Argozi, which has been resupplied and refurbished in the rush of colonization. In the age when it was built, the vessel was an interstellar ship. We may now have the ability to recover information from its records that we could not have obtained years ago. At the same time, we will interrogate other species and their sources of inform information. The layers of other drifters in the galactic star lanes are also centers of information, however they, however they may have obtained it. They may be pirates, but no desperate Aregans. Uh, but to desperate Aregans, they could be useful associates. The galaxy moves and expands. Worlds and systems are moving targets, and our science still lacks the accuracy to track them. Perhaps the brigands of the galaxy could provide some of that. Okay, I want to check something. Diplomacy pirates? I know we can agree on a prize. That's interesting. I need to get some more money. Unfortunately, currently we have limited in the way of financial anything.
Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. One more turn. If the wonder gets stolen from me on this turn, I am taking my ball and going home. Okay, I think we're good. Hacking operation suspended. Doesn't matter. Because if I get the wonder, that's a huge science bonus and a huge money bonus. Yes, got it. We have completed the legendary deed. It gives us a small amount of money. I'm going to put Xenotourism agencies up, otherwise we're going to have some problems. We're going to have a lot of problems just across the board, in fact. Uh, we have no system influence. Oh, Denark University is actually something... We want that even earlier, maybe? No, Xenotourism first. It's five turns. Should be fine. Do we have any other specializations? Peron coal, Peron sterile. So I might want to go for I might want to go for the money. I was just hoping to. Well, actually, it doesn't give a bonus to industry. I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. But one way or another, I might as well say that Endless Space Two is available on Steam. It's been out for a while, and the Reawakening update is available as well. And if you pick it up during the spring sale, you can pick. Uh, I don't actually know how much the bundle is. Uh, but base endless space two is ten bucks, which is an absurdly good price. Thieves and traitors. Oh, this guy just looks menacing always. And smoking gun. Nah, let's arrest some spies. I'd like to read all of this stuff, but it is wordy as heck. So it's the kind of thing that I'd probably just read it silently on my own, enjoy the whole thing. But because I'm recording this, I can't. But anyway, I guess with all of that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. Especially during the uh, Steam Spring Sale uh, and sales in general, I'm going to be going through a bunch of the kind of the best games at very low prices. Uh, so if you're looking for some games to pick up, now is a good time. But all that said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.